this on the market because it's coffees, pastries and pilates and I'm going to have a cinnamon roll for the Sunday reset. Good morning everybody, happy Saturday and welcome to a wholesome weekend vlog. I don't really know what I'm going to title this video but I thought we could spend the weekend together. I'm going to show you like my my Saturday and my Sunday morning routine, my ideal kind of weekend basically. Like what I'm going to do this weekend is kind of how I love to spend my weekend so I thought I would share it with you. It is currently Saturday morning and it's meant to be a gorgeous bright blue sky sunny day today. I've got the, sh um, the sun shining into my bedroom so it might look a little bit orangey but I'm not mad about it because I honestly love these days. Like the crisp cold autumnal days where the sun is shining and it's blue skies I honestly love them and today is gonna to be one of those days which I'm very happy about so yes I'm up I'm kind of ready but I obviously need to get dressed because I'm just currently wearing a dressing gown um, and I'm going to start my morning off with a little bit of reformer pilates because we all know I absolutely love reformer pilates um, and sometimes during the week I don't get to start my mornings off with it because I'm kind of busy with work so on the weekends I always try and do a little bit of reformer pilates to start my day so I'm just going to chuck on um, some stuff for that I'm just going to put on my white fox little chocolate brown set because I'm loving this at the moment and I feel like it's very autumnal and it's just my favourite and I have really cute little Pilates socks to match which I will show you in a second. So that's what we're going to start the day off by doing and I'm excited for it. I'm actually really excited for today's plans because like I said they're just kind of like my ideal weekend. Just like a chilled autumnal weekend but like I, that's kind of what I love. I am a grandma at 23 years old I can't lie. I've just popped on the matching sports bra um, and then these are my little Pilates socks that I absolutely love. They're little grippy socks um, but they say Pilates and Lattes on them. The sun's kind of shining so it's really hard um, to show you them but they've got like little croissants and coffee cups on which is just so me. Like these are the most me socks ever and I honestly love them. I feel like the socks themselves just basically sum up my ideal weekend morning because it's coffees, pastries and Pilates which is basically what this morning is going to entail but I've dropped it. <laughs> okay, socks are on. I'm ready. Let's go downstairs, do a little bit of reformer Pilates, and then we should go from there. Pilates is now done. I've just had a quick shower and now to get myself dressed for the day. Today's plans are I'm going to pop into town in a minute and I'm going to go to the market because they've got like a little farmer's market market type thing on on a Saturday morning and they've got a little fruit and veg stall, a bakery stall. They basically have everything. It's so cute and I feel like a sunny Saturday morning is literally the perfect time to walk around a farmer's market. So I'm going to do that. I think I might get a coffee, maybe pop to Waitrose to get a couple of bits and just pop into town basically. So that is this morning's plan. So I'm just going to quickly get dressed. Today's out for the day is one of my favourite which I have worn a few times so you may recognise this but just got these trousers from Boohoo that I'm just going to quickly chuck on and then I've just got on this little Zara home um, cashmere little cropped jumper which I'm obsessed with um, bag wise I'm going to wear my little this little bag thing and then I'm just going to chuck on two little rings these are just my little coffee cup and my little croissant rings because i love them and they're so me and i would do a little close-up but with the sun shining how it is you literally just won't be able to see them but i have shown them in vlogs before and then perfume wise i think i'm gonna go i think i'm gonna do mason margella um i don't know how you say that is it mason margella or mason margella i don't actually know but anyway i'm gonna go with this one which is bubble bath i've not actually worn this one before hence why um it's still in the box but i honestly love these perfumes they're meant to be coming out with a new one as well called afternoon delight which is meant to be based in like Paris because all these um fragrances are like um they're called replica and they say reproduction of familiar scents and moments of varying locations and periods so this one's bubble bath and the period is Beverly Hills 2005 and this style like I'll just show you it's so much easier you see the lighting though you can't really see whilst I'm here I might as well show you my rings but like I said you can't see them and they're meant to be bringing out one called afternoon delight which is set in Paris and it's meant to smell of like a vanilla madeleine and it's meant to be like um kind of like bakery scented vanilla oh my gosh it's basically just the most me perfume and I love these perfumes like I have so many from the range so if they bring that out best believe I'll be buying that but yeah this is just bubble bath so that's my perfume of the day um accessories are on bag is on shoes wise I'm just going to put on some Birkenstock Boston's I think oh and I also let me just pop that there a second I need um to pack my sunglasses as well so they're going in the bag and then I've just got lipstick lip liner and chewing gum basically in here what more could a girl need I just need to grab my car keys put some socks and shoes on and then we are ready to head to the farmer's market and get out the door 
I've just parked up, but look at how cute all the leaves are. All the trees are starting to really change. Like I've noticed it a lot this week. Like this one's still kind of greeny, but it's also starting to get orangey and they're all on the ground. Like I feel like it's proper autumn when the leaves fall. And I feel like I've been waiting for this for weeks and I would have thought it would have happened by now, seeing as we're like end of October, but they're finally doing it. There's so many leaves on the ground all around here. And I love it. I love that noise of like walking through autumn leaves on a dog walk. It's one of my favorite things about this season. I don't know why, but I just love it. See you later. Thank you. I've made it to town. I've got myself a coffee. I've got myself a little latte. I was going to film in there, but then I ended up bumping into someone I knew. So I was having a lovely chat with them, which was lovely. But I've got myself a latte. Um, I thought I'd get a coffee first. And now I'm going to go and walk around the market. These are absolutely delicious, I strongly recommend. They're on 20% um, at the moment as well. And if you pop them in the air fryer and they go all warm and like crispy, they're so much nicer. By the instructions on the card. Okay, we were back in the car. It was a very quick trip around town. I only did half an hour parking, so we had to be speedy. But I got my coffee, which was absolutely delicious. And then I went to the market stall and I got myself a slice of pecan pie, which I've never had before. But I'm really loving pecans at the moment. Like, I'm having, like, maple pecan espresso pods. I had, like, a pecan caramel, like swell pastry thing from starbucks the other week which was delicious and i'm also really enjoying like the blonde chocolate coated pecans from ms so basically i'm just loving anything pecan and i feel like it's very autumnal so i've got a slice of that um which, I, which like i said i've never had before so i'm quite excited to try it it looks like oh my gosh that actually looks so good it's got all like the pecans on top and then it's like that should i try it now it's only 10 a.m but i feel like i should try it hmm it's quite nice it's quite sweet but it's kind of like caramelly kind of i also feel like warmed up i don't know why i like to warm everything up in the air fryer at the moment but i really do and i feel like that was slightly warmer because obviously like it's a bit of a crisp chilly autumnal morning and it's obviously been like south side on a market stall so it's a little bit cold so i leave it out at room temperature for a bit and have this as like a little afternoon snack whilst i'm reading my um pumpkin spice cafe book and having a cute little autumnal afternoon i feel like that'll be perfect and then i also popped to waitrose i just got a sourdough i was gonna get the waitrose sourdough um but then i saw this one reduced and it's the bertonette bakery which is a bakery in bath which i absolutely love if you're ever in bath i would definitely recommend going here because their pastries are really good um and this one's only £1.49 which for that big of a loaf of sourdough i thought was really good so i got that um and then i also wanted to get these pecan fudge cookie things from waitrose um i think they're like milk chocolate pecan fudge cookies i think that's what they are um but they didn't have them and they didn't have them the other day when i went in as well which is a little bit annoying because that would have been delicious but i'll try and get them next time so that is everything that i got um i'm just going to quickly pop to aldi because i need to get some cream cheese um for this afternoon's plan but i'm gonna go do that then we shall head home and i will see you in a minute or in a second because for you it's gonna be in a second i feel like i should give you a close-up of the pecan pie just to give it like do it justice you know show it in all its glory look at how cute with all the pecans on and then i don't really know what this bottom bit is but it's kind of like caramelly i don't know if it's got like pecans in the i don't know like filling what would you call it i don't know but look at how pretty that is how cute i don't know how well you saw it in the last clip so i felt like she um deserved her own little clip for a little close-up look at the glaze on that delightful <laughs> Another day, another life passes by like autumn leaves now. Close your eyes before the sleep and your miles away. And yesterday, another place for us to die. It's not complicated. Autumn leaves, hungry hands, in soft and
can quite clearly see because I'm standing in my kitchen. <laughs> but I'm now going to make some cinnamon rolls because I want to have some nice warm, I don't know why I'm talking like this. I want to have some cinnamon rolls um, for breakfast tomorrow but I quite like to make the cinnamon rolls the day before and then you can put them in the fridge and leave them to rise so then it just saves so much time in the morning basically. It means you can literally wake up and chuck them in the oven rather than having to faff around with making cinnamon rolls on a Sunday morning which who really wants that? Like I feel like everyone wants the warm cinnamon roll on the Sunday morning but they don't have to make them. Make them the day before and put them in the fridge and then they can rise. So I'm going to quickly make them now and then like I said they can go in the fridge overnight and then this afternoon I'm going to eat my pecan pie, read my book, do some nice thick hydrating skincare because I'm really loving doing that at the moment especially as it's getting colder my skin's going to get drier and drier so I'm really trying to like focus on thick hydrating like glazed donut skincare which I'm loving and that's my plan for the rest of the day. So that is that. I'm going to make these cinnamon rolls now. How many times am I going to say that word in this video? Probably a lot, um, but let's make some cinnamon rolls, okay? Happy Sunday and welcome to part two of the wholesome weekend vlog because it's Sunday so obviously that's the second day of the weekend. I've had a little bit of a line this morning. I've been reading my bed in book for a bit. That did not make sense. That was the complete wrong way around. I've been reading my book in bed for a bit and I'm up. I've got my dressing gown on because on a Sunday I love to just chuck this on. I probably won't get dressed today to be honest. I will probably wear this for the majority of the day and then changing to pyjamas at about four o'clock for the rest of the day because that's what a Sunday's for. I'm not stepping foot outside my house today. My feet will not be going past the threshold of my front door. So what is the point? But I am gonna put a little bit of perfume on because on a Sunday, I love to wear this perfume. So even though I'm not leaving the house, I feel like I need to pop it on. And this is my replica lazy Sunday morning perfume. I absolutely love this. And it's my go-to Sunday scent. Like it's what I wear every single Sunday. And I just love it. Like smelling this just makes me think of a Sunday. And the other thing, the other smell that makes me think of a Sunday is my cinnamon rolls, which are now made. I've got them out. Um, I'll show you them in a second, actually, but I've, they're now like kind of rising. I've got them out of the fridge. So I'm going to pop them in the oven and have them for my breakfast with a coffee, which I'm thoroughly looking forward to. I honestly don't think there's much better than a warm cinnamon roll with cream cheese icing, which is what I'm going to be having. So I'm going to go downstairs, make myself a coffee, finish off the cinnamon buns, have that for my breakfast, and then we can get on with the day. Okay, we have the cinnamon rolls, but I'm not going to lie. They're not looking like my best cinnamon rolls in the world. I didn't have any cow's milk in yesterday when I was making them, so I had to use oat milk. And that's the only thing I've done differently. And I think maybe that's affected like the consistency of them and stuff because they were really sticky and they've not really risen very much. So I'm just going to put them in the oven and hope that <laughs> they rise a bit better. I mean, I'm sure they'll still taste nice, but I just don't feel like these are going to be my best cinnamon buns. And normally I pride myself in being really good at making them, but I feel like I've let myself down today. But anyway, I'm going to chuck them in the oven and hope that the oven will kind of make them rise and kind of fix them and hope and I'm just going to quickly make some cream cheese icing um, to pop on top and make myself a coffee so that when the cinnamon buns are ready I can have my nice ice latte and a warm cinnamon bun and yeah <laughs> I'm really excited basically. I don't know if I'm fully making the transition yet but I am going to be having a hot coffee today like I have been having iced coffee for the past months. I've had the odd hot coffee here and there, but today could be the day that I finally change from iced coffee to hot coffee. Cause it's just such a gloomy day. And I feel like now I'm not really fancying iced coffees anymore. I literally just want a warm, nice, frothy coffee. I can't get the lid off this milk. Um, but I'm just wanting like a nice warm coffee in the morning. So maybe today is the start of the, um, of the transition, which is sad cause I'm gonna miss my iced coffees, but it's just getting too cold for them now and I feel like I need a hot one this morning to like wake me up and be cosy in my dressing gown. I've made my coffee and now for my cinnamon roll but I don't even know if I can call it that. It honestly looks like it's been rolled over by a dump truck. They are so flat. I don't know what went wrong, whether there was the oat milk or whether the yeast was inactive or something but normally my cinnamon rolls are one of the best things that I make and today they're not. They literally look like roadkill. I don't even know. <laughs> 
if I want to show you them. They're literally so flat. I've just covered them in cream cheese icing and hope for the best, but they've not gone very well. They're not light and fluffy and delicious like Cinnabon cin cinnamon rolls, but I'm still going to have one anyway. So I'm going to have my coffee now um, and I'm going to have a cinnamon roll and then we can get on with the day, but I'm actually starving and I need my coffee. So I'm going to try and consume these. Otherwise I might have to have some of the sourdough that I got yesterday with some poached eggs on toast. That'll be my backup plan if the cinnamon rolls are inedible, but at least my coffee is nice. So I've tried this. Got a nice frothy coffee. I put my milk in the, you can't really see it and I'm scared to tip it up, but I put my milk in the milk frother and I've got it in my little white company mug, which I'm loving. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna drink this, eat my cinnamon roll, then we should go from there. Look at the state of it. Like, honestly, it's so flat. I think it must be the yeast or something. It just didn't rise properly. I don't know why, but as you can see, I've taken a little bite and it's actually not too bad because <laughs> The taste of the cream cheese icing just kind of masks everything. Like it's not the best texture, but it's not actually as bad as it looks. Like it's somewhat edible. It's not great, don't get me wrong. It's probably the worst thing I've ever baked in my life. So I'm really glad I got that documented on camera and that it all got messed up for my video, but it's still somewhat edible and the cream cheese icing has saved the day. And now it's time for the Sunday reset. And I say that with a bit of a sigh, cause you know, when you've got like the washing to do, you've got a hoover. But I also kind of enjoy it on a Sunday, you know, like get everything done, have a nice fresh start for the week. And I also got this, which I'm very excited um, to try because I've heard so much about it. And it's the Tallow and Ash um, laundry, like wash stuff. They do loads of different scents. They had like um, one called like icing on the cake, I think, or something where it was like birthday cake scented. Um, and I can't remember which one I got because I picked this out a little while ago. They did very kindly send this to me, but it's not an ad. But I picked it out a while ago, so I can't remember what I got, but I just feel like this is gonna make doing the washing and doing my Sunday reset. Oh my gosh, this is huge. It's just gonna make it um, that much more fun. There's also a QR code here, so I think you can get some free stuff if you scan that. So I'm just gonna hold that there in case anybody wants to try it. So I got the Bahama Vibes one, laundry, shampoo, and conditioner. It's absolutely huge. I'm so excited to smell this. I would love to be in the Bahamas right now, but instead I'm at my home in dreary gray England about to do some washing, <laughs> but I can use this washing thing and pretend that I'm in the Bahamas. Oh, it's got like a little pull thing on it. So yeah, I'm gonna do some washing. I need to hoover. There's a bit of washing up that needs to be done. The dishwasher needs doing. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of a Sunday reset, get ready for the week ahead. That's just exploded in my face. It's not what I was expecting it to smell like. I can't really put my finger on it. It's kind of coconutty, which does make sense with it being Bahamas. It's kind of like beachy and coconutty, which is quite nice. So I'm gonna use this. Oh, it says on here, the notes of it are coconut and peach. Um, Actually, yeah, it's a coconut based fragrance. Let me, show you the back because some people might not care but if you do care you can pause that and read that about the bahama vibe scent so i'm gonna pop some washing on use this and do a little bit of a sunday reset which you can do with me i was not expecting it to be that color it's like a pinky rose gold color. I don't know why I wasn't expecting that, but I really wasn't. I thought it was either gonna be clear or white. I don't know why it's that color. It smells nice though. It smells very coconutty. I really wanna try the birthday cake one now because imagine walking around with clean, fresh washing, but it's smelling like vanilla-y and birthday cakey. I kinda wish I got that one now. Now I wanna use this all up and then I can get the birthday cake one. Hoovered, the dishwasher is on, the washing has been washed, hung out, um, the washing up has been done. Basically, the house aspect, the cleaning aspect of the Sunday reset has now been done, and I've also just cleaned my hair, slash washed my hair. I don't know why I said cleaned, but you get the idea. Um, so now I'm going to do a little bouncy blow dry because I love on a Sunday to try and do like a nice big bouncy blow dry to kind of set me up for the week ahead. I tend to wash my hair twice a week sometimes once a week depending on what i'm doing that week and whether like i'm happy with my hair to be slicked back for like a few days you know it kind of depends but on a sunday i always try and wash it because then it's just nice and fresh for like a fresh week of work and it's nice big bouncy blow dry so that's what i'm going to do um, i'm just going to use the poundland volume um foam thing i either use this or the color wow one it just kind of depends what i've got on that week like next week i've not really got 
like a massive amount of things on so I'm just going to use the cheaper version if that makes sense but if I've got like some more fun things on or like a trip to London and I just you know like the things where I want my hair to look nicer I'll use the color well one and then also the spray of this as well and then I'm just going to use my Dyson air wrap I'm going to do like a blow dry with this bit and then also I like to use this for like the front bit so I'm going to do like a mix of the two for like my little bouncy blow dry thing um so yes that's what I'm going to do and then in the shower I just used the um I can't think of the name of the brand I showed it in last week's weekly vlog i think i can't quite remember which weekly vlog it was but it's the um the hard water um anti-breakage one i can't really remember like what it's actually called and the brand um i can't i can literally picture it and it's really annoying i can't think what it's called so i used that in the shower so yeah, i'm gonna get my hair dried now and then after that i think i'm just gonna have a nice chilled sunday afternoon it's about three o'clock now so i kind of just want to have like a few hours to chill do some dinner and then have a nice chilled evening. So I think I'm gonna sit and read my book for a bit. I'm not really, I've not been reading much recently. Like I really haven't been having the time for it or like when I have had the time, I've been watching stuff on TV instead. So I think I'm gonna really try and read my book for a bit um, and like get into that a little bit. Like maybe spend even just like half an hour reading my book. I think that would be nice. So I think I'm gonna do that. Um, and also I'm gonna take off the makeup that I've got on. Um, I'm gonna take that off shortly. And I just really fancy doing like a nice big like hydrating like skincare routine. I just really want to spend a lot of time in it because like sometimes come the end of the day when I'm doing my skincare, I'm kind of tired. I just want to get my makeup off, get my skincare on and then like chill, you know. But today I've got quite a bit of time. So I feel like I want to just make the most of that and just spend like a long time on my skincare like letting each um product sink in before i move on to the next one maybe even doing like a face mask or something so i think that's what i'm going to do after this and then i can chill um and watch big brother <laughs> and read my book a little bit and yeah that is the um kind of afternoon slash evenings plans once i've dried my hair it's felt like a proper proper sunday today as well i feel like the weather with it being quite like a cloudy gray day has just made it feel like such a sunday sunday if that makes sense i feel like the weather yesterday with like the blue skies and sunshine was perfect for a saturday for like going out going to the farmer's market and stuff and then today this weather is literally perfect for like getting the house all sorted and then having a nice cozy afternoon in the lounge i feel like it is literally perfect if you think i'm staring at you weirdly it's because i'm using the camera is my mirror like I literally have no other mirror other than the viewfinder on the camera so I'm using that to see what I'm doing so if you think I'm staring deeply into your soul I promise you I'm actually not like don't take it personally I literally just can't see what I'm doing otherwise why do I look like Elvis Presley is it giving Elvis Presley vibes to you because it is to me and that is not the vibe Um, the hair is now done um, so that is that I will put my overnight curler in it tonight just to try and like make it last and that's how I try and get my hair um, to look that doesn't make sense um, that's what I tend to do every night I put my overnight curler in um, some days I'll put rollers in all my hair some days I won't but that is the hair done the battery is about to run out of charge so I'm going to leave this video here because like I said I'm now just going to sit on the sofa for the rest of the day and I feel like this is a sign that I need to stop talking and stop rambling in this video with my camera telling me that um, it's out of charge and I've been filming for too long but yes the hair is now done the Sunday reset is done that is my ideal kind of weekend um, sort of thing and like I said I'm now just going to sit on the sofa and watch Big Brother so no one really wants to see that because this isn't an episode of Gogglebox but I hope you all enjoyed this video thank you all so much for watching and for spending the weekend with me give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you at some point soon with another video bye